We got married. We've tried to do the same introduction a million times. Uh, and yeah, we got married. I really should have done my ring too. We could have like paired the, the ring thing. We got married a month ago. A month and a week. Very precise. Um, and I basically wanted to, on the run up to the wedding, I took a few kind of snapshots, little kind of bits of York. Um, I'm literally shaking in the video. I can feel my nerves on the run up to this, onto the wedding day. We had a hey. few days in York before the wedding. Um, but I was very chill on our wedding day, mm. like very relaxed. My mum was not. Um, yeah, I feel like she sort of absorbed all of Claire's worries that Claire may have had. Mm -hmm. So we thank her for her probably, sacrifice. Yeah, probably the one day in my life I didn't have anxiety. So <laughs> that was quite good. Um, but obviously we had our beautiful wedding video, um, our official video as I'm calling it, mm -hmm. filmed by our photographer Sophie who was just amazing. Um, and thank you all for your really kind comments on that video. It was. I was so excited to put it up and it was lovely to read everybody's kind of like well wishes. Um, I feel like I'm part of the royal family doing that. Like, <laughs> Thank you for your well wishes. Um, it's very kind of you all. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I wanted to, I'd filmed lots on the run up anyway and I wanted to share it. We also have a few clips of our ceremony and best man speech and also our readings which I think are quite special to us. Um, but we actually had no, we just thought Sophie would be doing all of the, all of the filming, all of the photography, but actually on the day, Ben's dad ended up filming the ceremony, which is what we were not expecting. When we were having our little pre-ceremony pre interview with the registrars, we specifically said, do you mind going out and just asking everyone to, you know, keep their phones away so we can all have it in the moment. Yeah, I didn't uh, want any pictures from Sophie of like, I've seen so many weddings where it's like, the photographer was taking pictures of everybody else taking pictures. I just yeah. kind of didn't, didn't want it. Um, so they did, but then the, the registrar, she came back to us and said, oh yeah, there's there's one older gentleman who said he, he wanted to film the whole ceremony. Is that all right? And we were then just trying to figure out if it was my dad or Claire's yeah. dad. And just like, who? Was, who? <laughs> who was the one who wanted to be our, um, our cinematographer. Yeah, and I think either of them would have taken it very seriously. So I think it was one of those things we just hadn't planned happening. But actually, I think both of us, um, and I hope you can see in the clips of our wedding, that actually we loved the ceremony. It was... It was so well done. It was, it was really, really yeah, lovely. It was perfect. Leanne uh, made it, the our celebrant made it so personal and it really felt like ours. And it was funny. It, it was, mm. there was so much laughter and um, we didn't actually expect to enjoy it that much. I think we, we saw it as like illegal, like, oh, you know, you go up, there's cat hair flying everywhere. Oh, um, <laughs> I, we kind of saw it as a thing where you just kind of turn up and you, you know, walk up. I don't know, I don't know why we didn't, I don't know why I didn't perceive it to, to be as, I don't know if it's like romantic, but it just felt really special. Um, and actually, I, I think your dad filming was like the best gift anybody yeah. could have given us actually on the wedding because I have watched it back yeah. every day. <laughs> um, it's, it's so nice to have that record. Yeah, and also um, the best man speech as well, which is something that we we didn't film, so we didn't know was being recorded. I, I can't remember Becky, I can't remember seeing her film at the time. We had our beautiful pictures, but to have these forever, and I kind of wanted to share them. I obviously haven't shared the full ceremony, but I think there are a few bits that I know that, you know, the part of my Snapchat videos in general are because I film things that mean a lot to me, and I re-watch them a lot, and, you know, we have videos that I've taken from the very first kind of week of really meeting you and even though Ben's mm. not necessarily in the video there there are so many memories attached to them so it would have been weird for me to have not done one when we got married yeah. if that makes sense yeah it makes sense so in conclusion we got married mm -hmm. how does it feel to be a married man are you happy how's married <laughs> life so far how everyone has asked us that how has married life been I mean it's been largely the same as our regular life but then like every now and again we'll be like Oh my god, we got married! I know. <laughs> I actually do feel like things have changed in a way that yeah. it suddenly feels like, I don't know. We've been together for six years. We got married on our six year anniversary, which I think is quite cute. But um, yeah, I think kind of feels, I don't know, it's just kind of nice. Yeah. I think no, it's a, a good life decision was made on yeah. that day. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you enjoy our wedding as much as we did. Um, and there is going to be a, a, quite a bit more kind of wedding content, so please bear with me quite a big life event. We'll resume normal bookish content, even though our wedding was quite bookish, I would say. Stay for a reading of Emma by Ariel, that's bookish, and a reading of a Neil Gaiman poem by uh, one of our like really dear friends. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy the video and I'll be back soon with more books, but for now, 
just brides. <laughs> good ending i don't know keep that yeah <laughs> oh. just brides <laughs> love you love you too do you want to go now okay i'll Goodbye. leave jesus <laughs> you can tell when i'm not staying for welcome <laughs> yeah. it's all pretend you don't even live here <laughs> makes it okay, sometimes, is to reach out a hand in the darkness and find another hand to squeeze and not to be alone. It's not the kisses, or never just the kisses, it's what they mean. Somebody's got your back. Somebody knows your worst self and somehow doesn't want to rescue you or 
send for the army to rescue them. <laughs> it's not two broken halves becoming one. It's the light from a distant lighthouse bringing you both safely home because home is wherever you are both together. So this is everything I have to tell you about love and marriage. <laughs> Nothing. Like a book without pages or a forest without trees. Because there are things you cannot know before you experience them because no study can prepare you for the joys or the trials. Because nobody else's love, nobody else's marriage is like yours. And it's a road that you can only learn by walking it, a dance that you cannot be taught, a song that did not exist before you began together to sing it. And because in the darkness, you will reach out a hand, not knowing for certain if someone else is even there and your hands will meet. And then neither of you will ever need to be alone again. And that's all I know. <laughs> Please could I invite Elia to stand for the meeting? I don't want to have to I don't want to after Dina. <laughs> with my Canadian accent, but <laughs> thank you though. So this is the last paragraph of Emma. Um, it's a happy ending. The wedding was very much like other weddings, where the parties have no taste for finery or parade, and Mrs. Elton, from the par particulars detailed by her husband, thought it all extremely shabby and very inferior to her own. Very little white satin, very few lace veils, a most pitiful business. But in spite of these deficiencies, the wishes, the hopes, the confidence, the predictions of the small band of true friends who witnessed the ceremony were fully answered in the perfect happiness of the union. We now come to the exchange of rings. Please could I invite Matt to step forward with the rings? Thank you. You can just stay there so get yourself settled up. <laughs> <laughs> you have now made the declarations prescribed by law, and you have made a solemn and binding contract with each other, symbolized by the giving and receiving of rings. And that has been witnessed by those of us gathered today. You told me that you have been together six years today, like a little anniversary, which is amazing. And you met right in the last year, last week of your degree and have been back up and come to York for that very reason, because it's where your relationship started. So that's beautiful. My colleague, Christine and I, hope you have a very long and happy life together. It is my pleasure and my privilege to declare that you are now husband and wife and Claire, you may kiss your husband. <laughs> <laughs>
I've rarely seen anything as, as sweet as the fact that you have these two people passionate about different things who are infinitely interested in learning about what the other one's passionate in from each other because they care so much about what makes the other person happy because they care about each other so much. But the, the sheer fact that they like bring out the best side in both of each other is just yeah. absolutely wonderful. And it's like, I, I, I first like came up with a version of this speech like two and a half years ago when they yeah. offered to be best man. <laughs> Obviously, I had quite a while to dwell on it to this point. But just today, I feel like I've been extremely vindicated about all this. Like, what we saw today was, and actually in, in the lead up and like hearing about how you planned your wedding together, it was like everything that would have made Ben happy about this wedding, Claire insisted on including in it. And everything that would have made Claire happy about it, Ben insisted that would they include for Claire. And none of it ever feels like compromise. It always feels like, I'm so thrilled that this thing that you would like to include has made its way in, because it makes me happy to see you enjoy it so much. Mm. And I feel like that's reflecting into like the way their marriage is going to be on the whole. This spirit of always wanting to... It's not just a wedding that reflects who they are as a couple. It's a wedding that reflects who they are as a couple, but also each one of them individually, separately, in a way that like just empowers both of them in such a beautiful way. Ben and Claire, we love you, you know that, all of us do. I, for one, feel incredibly honoured, and I hope I speak for other people here who are feel incredibly honoured, to be able to come and witness this, this thing that represents both of you so well, and I think it really has been a perfect, wonderful day, and um, I really look forward to seeing how happy you are in the rest of your lives together. Because um, as I say, like, Everything I've seen up to this point suggests it's going to be absolutely wonderful. So, here's to both of you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.